Hidely Hodely YouTube. I am back with another G1 Autobot reissue. Who's it going to be today? Well, we got a another original Autobot that came off the crashed arc at the start of the Transformer series. And this guy has a, a, a special ability that's really cool. He can disappear and go invisible and reappear somewhere else. Kind of like Skywarp of the De Decepticons, except Skywarp actually teleports, whereas this guy just goes invisible and then travels to a new location and sneaks around, and then he can reappear sort of thing. So if you don't know Transformers, you may not still know who it is, but if you do know Transformers, you know exactly who I'm talking about. And his name is Mirage. Really cool character. Um, he was kind of one of the more aloof Autobots who was like not really into the cause. And sometimes there was one episode where they really suspected him of, of uh, some sabotage and stuff like that. Uh, but he is, he is down deep a dedicated Autobot. And, uh, and he's a really cool character because he turns, in, turns into, as you can see, a Formula One race car, which is awesome in itself. So I checked this time before I picked the, the, the characters I'm going to reveal next to make sure that I did have a video of them on my Masterpiece uh, toy unboxing. And I do. So there will be no more forgotten, oh yeah, I opened that guy before I started doing my Masterpiece uh, unboxing videos. So hopefully that little trend is over. These guys, uh, these next couple guys at least, I know I have Masterpiece unboxing videos um, on my YouTube channel, so I will post the links as usual I, as I do for that. So you can see what this guy is all about and you can see his more recent, uh, more detailed figure. But in the meantime, let's get Mirage out of the box and uh, put his stickers on and uh, see what uh, he looks like. I remember what he looks like, but you may not. So this is all for you, you know that. Mirage, check him out. Ugh. Fucking L. Mm. My buddy Mike as kids had this this toy so i'm quite familiar with uh mirage's g1 character and let's see he doesn't look like he needs many stickers because he's got the uh his detailing kind of already painted on i'm sure there will be some but i'm guessing he doesn't need quite as much as we have had to put on with some of those other characters some of them were fucking marathons, right? <laughs> Peanut Griffin. Shit. All right, so we got to get him to robot mode to do most of these. Oh, there's still a fair amount. So he's got three rockets, a rocket launcher, and a Wapunda, a rifle. Okay, so Formula One race car, pretty fucking awesome. So, legs come down, arms come out, like so. And then, this was a popular move for a lot of G1 Transformers, is the waist twist. Meh. As in, this just folds down like that. These kind of peel back. There we have his... Um, fairly easy transformation, but uh, fairly effective. I feel like this is a this is a pretty good one um, for one of the earliest, you know, transformers, right? So we will go ahead. Better get the box handy for some clarification. Okay, where's number five? I'm not seeing a fo oh there it is. Where the fuck does that go? Oh, I see. Whatever this 
which means Ligier, Ligier. Where's 18? Oh, the autobit symbol. Hmm. I don't see exactly where that's supposed to go. Maybe we'll hold off on that. Oh, this one's obvious. Eight and nine. Go on the bottom of his feet. And now, for once, I can't get a sticker off, right? <laughs> ah, fuck it, who cares? I'll put the other one the right way in case this other one gets you know, falls off at some point and I can, I can, I can redo it. It's going to look kind of goofy, but are you really going to look at it that closely? Nope. Okay. So one and two. I'm not sure if this was a, uh, like a real Formula One car, if this was based on like a, a real racer. Um, I know, like, these elf stickers I'm putting on, like, I know that was a real car, um, a real sponsor, you know. Um, like, Wheeljack was based on a real, the Lancia Stratos kind of race rally car. Like, his car was based on a, an actual car. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know if this one is or not. It's telling me to put stickers on where they have it painted. Is that... Yeah, no. Huh. I don't know why they would give you stickers for stuff they've already painted on. But hey, don't have to do them. That's great. Three... Little guy, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, 
shit, I fold it at the end. How did I do that before I even had it out of the fucking spot? I just did something quite remarkable. Use his rifle to set the sticker, man. Go. Alright. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh shit! Didn't come with me. These stickers actually seem more potent than a lot of the ones we've gotten in the other kits. So that's good. to go right there. That's not enough room. I'm not going to put that on. Okay, what am I missing here? 17. Where the fuck does 17 go? Not quite understanding. Pointy. I gotta take my glasses off for this one. What the hell? Oh shit, this went right. Oh, it just goes on the there's a picture of it. This has to lift up. Uh, this is the. Uh, this serves no purpose. This is the underside of the car. Like, it's really kind of weird, but. If they're asking for it. I'll put it on. these go on the front mm. foils. Detains. Whatever that means. Meh. Mm. Now, is there somewhere else I can put the Autobot symbol on the front of the car? I wonder. They kind of want it up on top of that there but it, there's a ridge there and it's not enough space but that i'm almost wondering if i should just stick it on one of the side things here instead of up there yeah and then i have the two stickers left over from where the, they painted it on um i wish they would just paint everything on to be quite honest <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm 
I'm going to make an adjustment. And there it is. All right. Mirage. Out of the box. Transformed and stickered up, baby. There he is, good old Mirage. Not so sussy, sussy, sussy at all like they found him in the uh, one episode of that series. But uh, I really like this mold. Uh, I really liked his G1 toy when I was a kid. Of course, I never had it. I think I may have mentioned it when I was unboxing him that my friend Mike had him. Uh, I can't remember if I was thinking about that or talking about that on the video. But um, if I already said it, my apologies. But uh, my buddy Mike growing up, um, him and his older brother John, their mom babysat me like before and after school when I was really young. So uh, we ended up becoming really good friends with this family and did all sorts of trips together over the years and went up to their cottage, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and uh, so they became good friends. But I remember in those early days when we'd come home from school and ah, Transformers. And I still remember a lot of the characters they had, like they had Mirage, they had Sunstreaker, they had Wheeljack, they had Hound, like all my favorites, you know. Um, so it, it just, those memories come flooding back and, uh, picking up Mirage is like, yeah, been here, been here, done that. Just not for a very long fucking time. <laughs> so, um, Mirage, I, there's not really anything I find wrong with this character. Uh, very close to the original G1. Of course, these are knockoffs. So they're a little more flimsy and whatever. Um, the stickers stuck a lot better on this one than in some of the other ones. Um, the only problem I really had was the rocket launcher. The missiles won't go in and stay in. Um, so I basically have the rocket launcher up here, but there's no silver missile sticking out of it because they just won't stay in. Uh, everything on this is pretty tight. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just loved his character as a kid because a Formula One race car, like who wouldn't want to be that alt mode as a transformer, right? Like it's such a cool option and a, such a cool character. And uh, I just, I really love this toy. So glad I unboxed them. Glad I'm gonna throw them down in that little corner behind me and put them on the shelf with all the others. And uh, we're getting to the point where we might have to graduate to the second shelf above the first one because we're starting to fill it out pretty good. So, but uh, uh, that's a problem I'd enjoy having. So until next time, we got another cool ARC Autobot on his way next time. Um, stay tuned for more. Meow.